this coronavirus has got me so bored because I can't, you know, carry on, carry on with my life that I'm bringing back my YouTube. Yay. Ooh, wow. Okay, basically, I don't know how to come back because it's been so long. And I, yeah, I was thinking of coming back around about now. And now I've got a coronavirus comeback. So, what's your situation there? If you can shed any light on it. Oh, well, see, not much light can be shed on that one there, Carl. It's a, it's a bit of a sticky one still. friends again it is genuinely stressful and i'm scared i'm scared a girl's scared the last time how do you feel najmi pretty relieved to be fair okay i don't know when i'll walk this path again <laughs> don't get me wrong it's, it's, it's upsetting but um we move, we move we do well i don't know if i'm like graduating i don't know if we're gonna have a winter graduation if i'm gonna graduate on skype we're graduating by force yeah even if it's in my back garden and i have to get my dad's gown out the loft like it's happening Am I right? You ought to be having your last pit stop. I'm going to save every bite. Every bite. I see you. Mm. Also, does anyone feel like Boris Johnson isn't doing enough? Just me? I don't know. I don't know. Here in Uxbridge today, um, Boris Johnson's constituency. Don't you remember mentioning that name in front of me, that filthy piece of toe rag? So we've just got a, an email from the uni. Our uni is over. And I, oh! Like our degrees are over basically. There's no exams, there's no more teaching. It's stressful because I've got friends from abroad, you know? Like, I don't know when I'm going to see them again. Like, given the situation, we can't even travel either. So, like, I can do my little world tour and go see everyone. Like, it's really upsetting. Like, it's your final year. It's my last few weeks. I was really looking forward to it. Like, you look forward to the weirdest things. I was looking forward to. One last exam season with my friends, you know, like head loss season, like we all lose the plot, like. Uh, it's sad, I'm really sad, like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And me and Beth are gonna show you how empty this place is. It'll all be gone. All the meat. Absolutely empty. All the food. I keep getting all the pasta. Interestingly, the still... Chinese food is still here. Now I'm not saying subliminal racism. You all are. the aisles are empty, mate. No pasta, except from <laughs> red lentil penne, because that's what we all need, <laughs> right? <laughs> Interestingly, the noodles have still been left. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. So the nation I brought out bought out all the crisps, but one remains. Marmite. Toilet roll is gone. Some of us wash our bums anyway. <laughs> There's no Come eggs. On. People are stockpiling on the craziest stuff. Like what's gone here? Bread mix. Right. Flour. Makes sense. But not really. What do you think, Beth? Are people stupid? And I'm going to sleep. It's Wednesday. Um, I'm just getting ready. I'm actually currently saving some. Um, getting some editing done because I'm meeting a friend and going to the library. Before people come at me, yes, I am going to the library. Yes, I am studying by myself. Yes, I am avoiding groups. And no, I will not be infecting anybody. Like the, the library's still open and it's my last day here. I'm going home home tomorrow. It's the last day. 
you know, fourth year ended for me yesterday. Today's my last day on campus. I'm just gonna make the most of it. And I'm sorry if anyone has a problem with that, but I do need the library, so. To be fair, we're just gonna get every room, me and my mate, just sit by ourselves, you know? Tables apart as well, like. We safe out here. But it's just so sad, like I'm having to pack everything up. Like, my room, I went from packing one bag to go home until Easter. Like, to packing everything. And like, I'm gonna have to take down my wall and I'm just not ready, I'm not ready. Like, I'm not ready. And the thing is, just people say that, oh, everyone else go through this. It doesn't make it any better, like, a whole group of us have been robbed of our final year by COVID-19. I see my friends again, so we're all going to the Crescent to chill maintain that two meter distance and also like it's not really that unsafe to be in a park right yeah yeah Wash your hands. so quarantine special episode living it up i've been really ill no no, no stay away <laughs> stay away <laughs> here's danny hi hey guys how do you feel <laughs> Hello. Hi. Guys, I love you. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everybody who made this experience so amazing. It was nothing like what I expected my time here and I've made so many amazing friends and this isn't goodbye, this is just to see you later. I'm gonna miss everyone.